Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. And this will be an entirely different video from all the gaming I've been doing on my channel. Today I'll be talking about my comic book collection, which you can which you can see behind me and over here. And the comic books I'll be talking about will be about DC, well a lot about DC, some Marvel and Dynamite and Vertigo, like over here, and there's one image comics, image comic over there. And I've got some manga that's not a lot about them. There's not a lot of manga I have, but I'll try and do my best. Uh, this is an inspiration I got from Wesley Comic Collection on YouTube and Instagram, where I'll try to leave a link down to his profile. And his YouTube channel. Mm. Alright, so about my comic collection. What I would like to start out with is my first comic book. Which is a Justice League Reaper story. Translated or dubbed to Danish. And yeah, this was my first comic I got. When I was back in like, I think 4th or 5th grade because I wasn't, I had a lot of problems with understanding some stuff back then. So my dad thought it'd be, my dad thought it would be a cool idea to buy me one in Copenhagen. So yeah, a lot of, so yeah, the drawings are the same, or the art is the same, the same with the story, but, and it's, and it's also the same like story, yeah. It, it's written by, let me just see here, yeah, Brian Hitch and illustrated by Tony S. Tony S. Daniel, Santo Flora, Tommy, Tomu Mori, <laughs> yeah, I have some, yes, yeah, quite difficult to understand their names and, and pronounce them, yes, yeah, so you can like see, some is the same. By Tony S. Daniels. Looking pretty good, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, that's my first comic book. Back in, I think it was, yeah, it was back in fourth or fifth grade. And then it was like, I think it was, yeah, 2017, I got it from my dad. And then <clears throat> later, I was like waiting for a, like, volume two. But I had no idea that that the um they were in English, the comic books, so I didn't really pay attention to it. So uh, my dad's friend he had a box of like different comic books which I've got over here, which I would like to talk about and show. So like we're gonna start out with. So well yeah he gave me a box of comic books and. There were a lot of different kinds of stories that was in there in Danish from like the 1900s. <laughs> Let's say um 80s, like 60s to the 90s, I guess, <laughs> where they started like reading good stuff. A lot of them were were like Spider-Man and X-Men. I've got here. Let's take those for example. One of them I I read some of these stories. Let's take two of them here, like. I got Ultimate Spider-Man, yeah, by um, Brian Michael Bendis. Uh, I'm not a fan, a big fan of that guy because of his DC work, but but Ultimate Spider-Man was pretty good, yeah. And I've got like the Ultimates, which is a which is an adventure story that was also pretty good, yeah. And I got like some X-Men. I don't think I've read some of the X-Men a lot, but most of the stories I I got was like um, Spider-Man, yeah. And I've got a Giga, another Giga, yeah. This is a Hulk. This was also pretty good. It also pretty much different from what I read about it. Oh yeah, and then I've got a Fantastic Four. Yeah, but it's just 
Yeah, it does say Fantastic Four. I thought it would say the Fantastic Sophia. That's but yeah, that's just me being stupid. And I've got like, oh, got the good stuff now. <laughs> got Spider Man. A lot of these Spider Man I've actually read, and I thought they were pretty good. So, oh, here. That, that, yeah, and then I got one here. Yeah, and basically they're all bagged because I like taking care of my comic books, and I'm very careful about them. And we got like another Spider-Man, but this is a this is a Danish title where it says Illicum, and Illicum is the is the Danish name for Spider-Man. And they translated the name, translated the name back then to a Danish name. And I got another X-Men. And then I later I bought a Batman, which is like a from the anime series cover, which is, which is pretty cool. And then I've got a, ooh, got a Batman no, number three from 1973. It says. All right, it says two kroner or five kroner, five euro, two kroners and twenty-five cents. That was one heck of a price back then. <laughs> you see here, and the back, and it's like fifty-two. I guess that's like a. I don't know what that is to be honest. Uh, yeah. Let's see what else I got here. Let's try and take these. Got another other carbon, which is a number 64 with like, oh yeah, with Peter Parker in the black sh or Spider Man in the black suit, which is gonna know Venom. And it says it, it, my I don't know what that's like supposed to mean, but it says here, oh, it says here, my Marvel Club, yeah. <laughs> But it's a number 166, pretty crazy. And then I've got a, yeah, oh, the Amazing Spider-Man. <laughs> I don't know which numbers this is, but it's pretty cool. We got the, you got like the Human Torch on the Fantastic Four. Then I got a really old one, which is Vampire, yeah, or Vampire, as we all know it. And this is a number four. It's pretty beat up, as you can see on the side. Actually, let me just try and take it out so you guys can see it. Like, and I was back when I was a little younger. I actually took a look in this comic. Oh yeah, this is it's not looking too well. It's just pretty sad. And can I say? These are really old <laughs> um, uh, pages. They're really old pages, so they're like, so as you can see here, they're black and white. <laughs> Pretty cool to like see um, these, the art be like in, in the. Well, it's pretty cool to see um, art without the colors. Or the thing it is, yeah. Oh shit! Oh yeah, no way I'm selling this. No way. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. What else I've got? Got a another Spider-Man. This is a pretty new one from 2000. 2005, which is a number 72, with Catch America <laughs> on the front page with Spider-Man, pretty cool. Yeah, I also think I read this comic, but I don't remember. I think I did. We we'll just take a look. So you all, I'll, <laughs> I'll open it so I can take a look and show it to you guys. Shit. Oh yeah, got Cats America right here, over here, <laughs> and I got some 
evil lady or on this side pretty mean yeah spider-man action <laughs> hey yeah spider-man in action over here and like he's like bleeding and stuff because she's kind of crazy this lady <laughs> yeah oh uh, actually yeah I did enjoy that comic book it was pretty good but yeah yeah oh no got some more okay so yeah basically every comic I got over here is like spider-man which is like one of my favorite heroes and there's another one from this one's from 2000, 2003 which is a number 94 and this one costs 26 kroners I don't know what that is I think that's like two dollars I think maybe but Spider it got covers got on the cover it's got Spider-Man and Greek Go Green Goblin <laughs> Green Goblin and as we all know in the Spider-Man Raimi trilogy he was played by William Defoe and Spider-Man was played by Tobey Maguire I still miss that guy <laughs> a lot and we got a like another Illacom on Danish well with the Danish title but this one is with oh what is his name I'm seeing Ben Riley yeah I think it was Ben Riley this is in about 154 and then we got another Illacom with with the original Spider-Man Peter Parker and the original suit with Ben Riley got him right here Ben Riley and Peter Parker pretty cool and then we got another Illacom but this is with this is one this one is only with Ben Riley and Venom with the original size and looks of Venom right here like black and blue and the original and the original logo with a big spider on it which he got from Spider-Man and then Ben Riley over here that's pretty cool and then we got another old Kong store with Illacom this is an a number 141 from 1990-96 this one cost 17 kronos and 75 cents or if I had to be correct <laughs> yeah this one has Spider-Man on the cover and Dr. Octopus or Doc Ock as he mostly calls him oh man yeah I'm gonna take a big stack of comics here so we can get through them all but okay so yeah this con this video will mostly be about the old comics and like as I said I think some of these I actually have have not read but yeah got a Project X with Gambit and Sabretooth yeah <laughs> pretty cool this is a number 76 from from 1997 yeah and I got like oh this is a this is a comic book edition on X-Men 2 pretty cool actually yeah you got like Storm and Mystique and someone else I don't know who that is and then you got like um then I've got a new X-Men number 332 I think from 2000 oh wait it's a number two from 2003 yeah and then <laughs> so Spider-Man on the back cover <laughs> then I got X-Men number 122 from 2003 no yeah well number 102 from 2003 or 2000 or 2004 it's got a um yeah it's pretty hard to read or understand basically for me it is kind of difficult for me 
And I got a Justin Exman right here. Number number 120. Yeah, from 2003. Another Exman number 121. From 2003 again. More X-Men, X-Men. Yeah, I'm gonna just pick all these up. Oh, got something else right here. X-Men. Number 119. 108. 100, 118, yeah. And a 116. Damn. Alright, alright. So we got something else right here. Oh, we're moving on to some DC after this. I've got a spawn number number ten, yeah. And then I've got a spawn number eight. And yes, these are also in Danish dubbed or translated. Oh wow. <laughs> They're actually drawn by Greg Capullo. These covers. Both of them. It's actually pretty cool. <laughs> and yeah, Greg Capullo is one of my favorite artists at DC Comics. And right now, alright, got some DC here, all comic books. Got Superman number 441. Yeah, Superman number 441. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's difficult to see for you guys, but yeah. And then, and then I've got number four, and then I got Superman number four hundred and thirty-nine. Yep. All right, and I got some Witchblade number fifteen, right here. Witchblade and a any. Witchblade and Tomb Raider crossover uh, announcement or ad? Do I care right now? No. Another Witchblade number fourteen and number seven, I think. Yep. And then I've got X Men again. Cool. This is a number eighty nine. X-Men number 89, yeah, from 1999, when 19, when kids from 1999 meets the, meets the 2000 kids, I don't know, got a project, project X, <laughs> or pro, yeah, project X, the Danish dub titled, translated, I don't know, this is a number 84 from 1998. Yeah. Got another Project X number 83 and a number 79. Whoa. Uh, you can guys like see it. You just. Yeah, <laughs> that's how far we've gotten with the old comic books. Alright, All right, let's take these last ones here. Alright, All right. we got a Spider-Man from, from, from the year 2000. And this is a number 13. We got a number 9. Spider-Man from 2000 and then we got a oh alright this is a good one this is a another Hitler cup but it says Spider-Man Hitler for Dansk Spider-Man Hitler for Dansk Hitler cup and this is a number 169 haha <laughs> that meme is that meme is definitely dead now please this yeah it's for, this one is from 1998 and then I've got a Spider-Man Hupadansk another one this has 
all right, so Marvel could have you given like Ben Riley just could have at least let Ben Riley just Ben Riley had his original suit instead of instead instead of just changing it because he's 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 got like two suits or yeah like right here as I showed you guys some time later ago he's got now he's got like a yeah now the suit's like red and blue yeah and big black spider on the back yeah Jesus Christ got a mega marvel with yeah mega marvel with Wolverine I think yeah, and then there's like abomination at the, down here. I think if that's him. Yeah, got another Mega Marvel with with Spider Girl. Did not read that. To be completely honest, this one is from 2000, and it is a number 25. Alright, let's take the last ones here. Mega Marvel. I'm guessing a X Men. X Men. Alright, Wolverine comic with. I'm guessing it's a Wolverine comic. Because it says like um, Wolverine, Sabretooth, and some chick on it. And then we got a. Yeah, it's a, a solid. Mega Marvel with Wolverine on the cover. Yep, just a Wolverine. And I've got a Witch Plate number 16. Wow. <laughs> yeah, right? Pretty non cool. Or kind of cool. Uh, this one is pretty interesting. To some of you guys, this is a Superman, uh, Superman, uh, other cub, or Superman and Spider-Man crossover, which is pretty cool. I had another one, which I actually borrowed from from a friend. That was also a also a Spider-Man and Superman and Spider-Man crossover, where those two met met each other, and in like New York or Metropolis, I think. But yeah. So yeah, that was the comic collection from Danish Dubbed, yeah, and some other time later I'll do a, <laughs> a, some time later I'll do a, I'll show my comic collection from the DC, everything that's like English, because I got a, a lot of it, I got over here, here, like everything up here that's like Rebirth, New 52, and I got some more right here, Marvel, take you guys with me, yeah, right here, that's Marvel, then I got some manga, and pretty interesting for you guys, that will be, or the thing that would be interesting for you guys would probably be everything I've got down here, yeah, all those are my are my single issues of DC Comics. Oh god. Yeah, right here. Every, every, single, every single comic here is DC single issues. And then I'll try and get to like my hardcover stuff. And I guess like here I got like single issues of Marvel which I'll take in. These are English. So yeah. Those will be in a, another video. And we got the Dynamite, Vertigo, and Image Comic. Got like the Boys and American Vampire. But yeah, we'll get to those later. And here's the last stuff we'll also get to in another video. <sighs> yeah. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this long video of me and explaining or just smack talking about like this whole comic splash <laughs> yeah um 
I guess I'll see you guys later.